Ta da! <laughs> Midterms. <laughs> the first barrier for all students who make it this far. The midterm exam. I feel like we're like jumping all over the place. Oh, we are. We just jumped six days. Yeah. <laughs> we're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. I mean, it's also a stark contrast to Doki Doki that Which we is just did. Which is literally day, day by day. Yeah. yeah. This game is yeah. not slow paced. <laughs> Tostito! <laughs> I'm hungry, can you get me some chips? <laughs> sure, sir. Yeah, one second. <laughs> yes? <laughs> that was the best name! Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Yes? Not too... Mm, nope, sorry. You did badly. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> no. Try harder next time, okay? I disappointed Mr. Nanaki. I'll have to study more from now on. With the festival and the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but summer heat. Ugh, look forward? Ugh. Dubs smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Ew. Huh? There's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there's Yuya. Yuya! What's going on? Salutations, Hayako! Brian won his seventh Pulitzer! He gestures at a news clipping on the staff room pinboard. Who's Brian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it says, Brian the first intelligent pigeon crowned again. The life of Brian? Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... I've heard a lot of people named Brian. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of birds, too, probably. He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. Oh yeah, I remember this. You can I'm pretty sure you can actually find a fictional blog by this bird. Nice. I don't remember where it is offhand, but I know you can find it. I found it before. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He, he was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. What are you looking up right now, Monomi? Try googling Brian Pigeon. Oh, Alright. Do it. I'll do it right now. Let me, let me just... Hang on. Just, uh... Put up, uh... That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna open it up on uh, OBS too. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the wrong display. Oops. Can I not just do? Hang on. OBS is picky sometimes. I don't know. Okay. While you do that, I gotta go feed the cats. So I'll be right back. Alrighty. Can I do window capture? Can I just capture Google? I can. I think. No. OBS, why are you so picky? Really? It won't do Chrome? Yeah, it's not capturing Chrome. Huh. I mean, you could probably just do desktop. Or, does it do desktop? I, I can try. And, uh, what would that be? Display capture? Yeah, sure. It, you know what? That's fine. Yeah, I'll just... Hang on. I'll show you in a second. For some reason, OBS will only capture my right monitor. Which is weird, but hey, whatever. Yep, this is this is indeed very real. And they're still active. What? The last post was October twenty first, two thousand seventeen. Wow. Okay. Oh, hang on. Wait. Look. Wait. Wait. Right there. October twenty first, two thousand seventeen. 
There I was, minding my own business yesterday, when a head pokes out, looks down at me, and goes, Watch out, Brian's coming! Nearly had a heart attack. WTF? Then a couple steps later, it happens again. Brian's coming any minute now, you mark my word! By this point, I'm totally confused. Didn't recognize either of the dudes, and I had no idea what the heck they were going on about until I nearly got blown across the Atlantic by a gust of wind, the likes of which I had never felt before. Jesus, it was like being kicked in the arse by a football boot. Took me right off my feet, it did. Didn't even have time to get my wings out. Dangerous stuff when you're not pissed. Awesome if you are. You still have a bit of wind banging back in the day. I don't know what's going on in this thing. But it's real. That's the point of the matter here. It's very much real. I can't believe it's still maintained. Yeah, someone's getting paid to do this. Not a lot. Or maybe not getting paid because of how infrequently it is. But whoever makes the game probably just comes on like once or twice a year to maintain this. <laughs> He has a Twitter account? Brian Pigeon has a Twitter account. Of course he does. I'm, I'm looking at it right now. Twitter, Twitter, tweet, tweet. Look at that. <laughs> Happy birthday. 400 today? <laughs> Bill Shakespeare 400 today with a... Morbidly obese squirrels. Huh. Well, I think I need to just follow this and then... <laughs> That's impressive. Also, apparently Brian Pigeon lives in London. Wow, that's uh, kind of scary and present, actually. <laughs> yeah. Let me just remove that scene. Yeah. Oh man, second semester plush project. What? Second semester plush project? Yeah, it was on the Steam news announcements for a TOEFL. Oh, oh, I haven't uh, actually looked at the... See, store, store page. I wonder if they resurrected it in time to like come for like a third sequel or something. That would be interesting. Yeah, I'd buy it immediately. First Steam review I see for Hot Dog Boyfriend. Much easier than dating a pigeon in real life. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would imagine so. Well, I mean the. Pigeons in this game are intelligent talking pigeons, so. Yeah, they don't just chirp and poop on your shoe. One one negative review just says hateful man. Okay. I don't know what Aggressive Pigeon lovemaking? <laughs> aggressive pigeon lovemaking. Not recommended? I have no idea. No girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, browse all 5,011 reviews. Gotta do something while we wait, I guess. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Uh... <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> I've never flapped so hard to any game before. <laughs> That's, That's pretty bad. <laughs> that is terrible. Uh, wait, wait, did you see eight? Shh, 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 shh. I'm skipping past any potential spoilers. <laughs> Had to explain to I the didn't... police why I was in a bird zoo naked to that ten. That might be it. I can't some of I can't tell if they're jokes or like Yeah, that other one I didn't think was a spoiler, or I didn't know if it was I, Dude, I don't even know what this game anymore. Ate my classmate for Christmas dinner, slept in a hobo cave, and got decapitated and put in a jar. See, I can't tell. Somebody, I feel like it could go either way. 
Because I know some of the rifts have some pretty dark, like, bad endings. Hmm. At least one ends up with you should have died. Oh, wow. Yeah, that can be the danger with reading Steam reviews. I, I don't have it up on the, uh, the stream, so at the very least if there's spoilers, it's just between my eyes. Oh, I thought you were, uh, streaming your desktop now. Uh, no, I, it's... I put the- it's back on the game for the moment. Okay. Coo out of coo. Coo out of coo. <laughs> coo, 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 coo. I now have a fetish for birds. 1.2 hours on a record. Hmm. <laughs> I'm sure there's rule 40, 43 of it. 34. There's, there's rule 34 of everything. And I don't want to see it. My mom saw me crying at 3 in the morning with birds on my screen. My hunter-gatherer instincts did not prepare me for this. <laughs> of all the birds... end, I'm guessing. <laughs> Probably. Or just a really touching good end. Of all the bird dating sims I played, this one is easily in the top 10. <laughs> I came to sex birds not to cry! <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> oh, God! These are these. 11 out of 10, just like Skyrim, but with pigeons. Dad walked in, had to punch my screen and say it was porn. <laughs> this one just says bird. It just says bird. Recommended. Recommended bird. Did I love this game? Yes, yes, yes. All these birds are flirty with me, it's a dream come true. 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. There's no bird sex in this game, I hate it already. 5.7 hours recommended. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, I didn't see the other review that might be the one that you were laughing at. Yeah, it's this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> read that. Me neither. <laughs> 5.4 hours recommended, though. <laughs> <laughs> My hunter-gatherer instincts were wrong when they said I should get this game. <laughs> That's sad. Oh, okay, good. 2,000 hours?! What? This guy put 2,000 hours- He must have just, like, idled on the menu or something. Great what? substitute for my dead dad. Oh. oh my god. Is this- is this reviews for How to Full Boyfriend? Yeah, I was just reading the kill time. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. We had some pretty bad ones. There was one that neither one of us would read. It was <laughs> god awful. Okay. I'll see it in the video. No, no, it's, I didn't put it on the screen. I could just, I'll just type it to you, I guess. Oh, okay. It was something along the lines of. Uh, or something like this. One of those, one of those things is accurate. Uh... Oh my god. I know! And he had like five hours in the game. <laughs> Alright then. Alright, you're ready to get back to reading pigeons. Yep. Oh, and we googled Pigeon Brian while you were gone? Or Brian Pigeon? There's a legit, currently maintained blog and a legit, currently maintained Twitter account attributed to Brian Pigeon. <laughs> they were posted just last month. Yeah, October 21st or something like that. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay! <laughs> okay! Why are, we, why are we okay? Uh, because she, you googled Brian Pigeon, I guess. Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. I do hate Yeah, Yonko. I like, completely last lost track of what we were doing there, and it turned to come back to, okay! Okay! <laughs> like, what, okay, what, why are we okay? Alright. We're okay for the sake of the okay. It's the okay game. Okay. Mm. I believe you. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... 
Store, infirmary, or cafeteria? Hmm. I only know where one of these go. Huh? I only know where one of these go. Which I can, one? Okay, I know where the cafeteria take. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know where the cafeteria takes you. I mean, uh, infirmary, I assume we see Creepy Bird again. Probably. Who shows up at the store or the cafeteria? Uh, cafeteria is true pudding. Ah. Uh. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, either the store or the, or the cafeteria because I don't want to see Creepy Guy. <laughs> I'll flip a coin. Tails cafeteria. And. Ow. Tails. Okay. Cafeteria. Alright, cafeteria. That actually hurt. I slapped that coin on my hand really hard. I think I'll eat at the cafeteria today. <coughs> the only true pudding. Excuse me. One half dead? What? Hey. Excuse me? One half All right. dead? <laughs> Excuse me, one half dead fried rice, please. Must be a bird thing. I, I guess. Yum, my favorite. Like that's just a stylized way of saying the recipe. I guess so. <gasps> no, this is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. A familiar voice, indeed. Coo, this is not pudding. I know! You said! So come on, let's eat outside! We can't horse around in here! I need to talk to myself. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Saw and saw it right through the plague here! It went nuts! I stopped it from going on a rampage, but... Ow! Cut it out, Oko-san! Cool! Release me at once! My rage voltage is rising! I don't know how to explain any of this. Freaking Beerus over here. <laughs> Help me, Hayoko. Um. So. Leave it to me. Leave it to you. Leave it to me, Rota. Oh God. <laughs> My hunter gather blood boils. <laughs> Play that music from Mega Man X7, or Blood Boils, or whatever. Cool! No! The Beast Queen shows her true colors! Pull out! Pull out! My voice is just <laughs> car noise when he ran again. <laughs> Osaka rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. <laughs> ah, safe at last. Thanks, Hayoko. No problem. All I did was shout at him, anyway. Apparently that was enough. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of disaster. <laughs> there you go. Now you're even better friends with your already friend. Okay, what are we- Free elective day! Oh. Attend! Um, our math could use some help, so... Math it is. When did our charisma get to be 20? No. Hmm. Maybe from uh, joining the band? Maybe, that would make sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I always found myself wondering what the math what the math we learn is good for. Coo. <laughs> and now we can draw a line perpendicular to Is this math class or nap time? Nap time. <laughs> One thing I kind of find weird about the writing in this game is sometimes the characters will respond to what I assume is like an internal monologue. Mm. It kind of throws me off. Yeah. I leveled up. Ooh. I got smarter. I am smart. Yeah, like, like when uh, Sakuya commented about her making fun of the paintings yeah. and it was like, you feel mm -hmm. Like, that wasn't in quotation, so I assumed it was like a thought, but dude responded to it. It's kind of weird. No, oh, Tanabata. I don't know Today what is. Today is Tanabata. There's probably oh, a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. I do know what this one is. I lied to you. I'm a liar. <laughs> wow, there's lots here already. 
Any birdie I know? Yeah, you write your wish on that <clears throat> strip of paper, put it on the tree, and hope it comes true. May mother stay healthy this year, and my stomach get better. Ryota. Oh my god. That's in French. Impossible, ne c'est pas Francois. Yes. French is not impossible. <laughs> oh man. Isn't it though? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what that says. Yeah, I think that is what that says. Uh, let's see. You can conquer the world by force, rule the world from the shadows, or become a famous artist. What do you want to wish for? I will wow. become a famous artist. Cause okay. All right. Okay. Cool. I wish to become a famous artist whose work is known the world over. I like how two out of the three options are completely diabolical. Yep. <laughs> oh, hello. Is that you, Toasty? <laughs> 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 I gotta go. <laughs> Mr. Nanaki, your grandfather's looking for you. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a delicious chip. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk you to your place? I was taking a drink when you said that. <laughs> I was about to cough and then he just says it. I'm like, I'm alternating between choking and laughing. <laughs> Do you want no. teacher man to walk us home? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is, is it a good idea or not? And it's just, do you want to be friendly with the teacher or not? If not, we'll have to do it another time. Uh, okay, yes, please. Okay. <laughs> don't eat me. <laughs> Depend depending on what route we do, we'll have to come back through the whole game and, you know, get a different route and dating sim basics. Mm. Yes, please. Alright. I'm not actually sure who we're gonna end up right now because we kinda bounce between a lot of people. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. Eventually. You're not gonna get any sleep tonight. It's gonna be like three in the morning. Your house is very Rustic Tostitos. That's the new bag design? I like it this way. Hmm. It's wonderful to have a place to come back to, isn't it? <laughs> wonderful indeed. I imagine mean, he just lives in a condo. Like, everyone else lives in normal houses except for her who lives in a cave. <clears throat> he looks a little sad. Um, sir. See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow sounding farewell echoing behind. Well, that's sad. Or was it just my imagination? Probably. Homeless teacher man? Homeless te Oh god. I hope not. I like today! Woo! Yay! My charisma went up again. Must have been your smooth talk. Probably because you would pick artist. Hmm. Uh, math, I guess. Rule from the shadows is probably wisdom, and by force is probably vitality. Mm, uh, okay. That's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you said math? Yeah. Okay. So with my luck, I'm just gonna get friend zoned by everybody. That is an ending, I think, and if that happens, we'll just go through again. Alright. <clears throat> you Sir. distributed your stats too evenly. <laughs> you, you have to be one sided! Smack! Sir, how, how will integral calculus help us in life? This, you know, it is a dating sim, so no matter what, we're playing this game a couple of times, if I'm not, not gonna several. I'm not going to come on now. I'm too stupid to do mm. that. Hard to say. It might never help you at all, Tostitos. <laughs> what do chips mean with calculus? <laughs> but only studying things that help you in life is tiresome. Think of it as educational candy. But candy's supposed to taste good. Integral calculus. I. Bleh. Integral calculus is educational candy. I'm not prepared to accept this. Throw the book out the window. 
<sighs> now you should have 16 <laughs> wisdom. Yep. <clears throat> we get our finals back today. I'm not sure I did too well. Tostitos! <laughs> Sir? Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Is it because I'm raising my wisdom? Yeah. Oh, I skipped that. I didn't know it was going to... I thought there was going to be more than that. Whoops. Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Time flies when you hate being in school every day. <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seems short, but either way, it's summer now. Sometimes it's this way, sometimes it's the exact opposite. I just got a message on Discord. <laughs> I need to go on Do Not Disturb. Whoops. I heard that one too, so it must have been in the, uh... Yeah. <clears throat> I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait. I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's start cleaning. <sighs> Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust on it. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the <coughs> files by date. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window. Hold on. Are you telling me to do that all by myself? Who else is there? I'm not using my feathers as a feather duster. You bonehead! But that's what they're like designed for, man. Just, just grab it, like squish, and then dust, 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 dust. <laughs> Maybe I should stand up to him. Squish him and use him as a feather duster. Are we standing up to him, or are we gonna let him use us like a doormat? You, you help too, you stupid bird. Yeah, it's, that's kind of racist. Hang on now, <laughs> we're all birds here. Sakuya, so, I'm the vice president, not the charwoman. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Is that so? My job is to help you, so maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up? That's why I'm giving you orders. No! Jeez, that's not what I... Here's a mop. Work. How does he hold it? <laughs> With his clawed feet. Yeah. I... You... What? <laughs> Danny. First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. Yeah. <laughs> you know how to use it, right? Let's get started. Hmm. Don't tell me you've never... Dusted a feather. Of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. I would have loved it if it said in the nest of luxury. <laughs> And so Sakuya reluctantly helped me clean. I thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. Well, with that line, I just imagine he's cleaning and she's standing there monologuing, like... <laughs> she's doing all the work and she's standing there just monologuing in her head. Staring at the wall, monologuing. <laughs> It's easy, it's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. A hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. That means you eat worms. Are we going to the store? No, we're running. Oh, okay. Oh, the, shri the shrine. Civilization! <laughs> They're ruined buildings. Hills! School! Or house? I don't know what this is. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start a vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always look, lose track of where I'm going once the runner high kicks in. Maybe you ran 500 miles. <laughs> mm. 
Where am I? Good question. <laughs> Oops. I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. There's a cat. What? Cat was yelling. Oh. Which way did I come from? I thought you saw one on the screen and like, uh... No. Don't fail me now, pa paleolithic homing instinct. This game's teaching me words. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep. I'd rather not sleep outside, even though I live in a cave. Okay. I don't know who this hey is. You. Huh? Oh yeah, new character. I, I have no idea. I think this is actually a lady bird. I don't know you. Where'd you come from? A sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Yep. Her wing is resting... Blaster. Okay. Her wing is resting on a motor scooter. Hello, kitty. Good good picture. <laughs> like, blaster! It looks <clears throat> a bit... It looks a little bit vintage. How cute. It's Quiddick We Acquainted. It's Quiddick We Acquainted. <laughs> <laughs> There's two seats. I feel a strange pressure. Wish you guys could hear the music playing right now. Yes, Cap. It's very actiony music. I can tell right away that the sparrow isn't just any birdie. Um, I'm from I'm from Saint Pigeonations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way from there. You must be good. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. It's about a two-hour drive from here. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. I've been running for five hours. Uh, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Hmm. That voice you gave this bird, I can just imagine you shouting brother any minute now. <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. Wow. What? You might as well be liquid. <laughs> I got all the recessive genes. And you got all the dominant ones. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on. I, I don't know if she's like snobby or anything. I just gave her a random voice. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, the intimidating sparrow gestures at her scooter. Guessing by the blaster on her scooter, I'm guessing she must be kind of like street smart kind of thing. Like a... Mm -hmm. Tough street bird. That's the. It's a, it's a little small, but I think, I think we should both fit. Right there. Good enough. <laughs> yeah. So thank you. Um, may I ask your name? Koshiba. Mm, excuse me. Koshiba Azami. I sell takio. Takoyaki. Ta Taco. Takoyaki. There you yep. go. Octopus. In a ball. Yep. Call me Azumi. Train! Train. <laughs> Thank you, Azumi. And then a train just rolls by out of nowhere. <laughs> train. I like trains. Smack. <laughs> Smack. <laughs> Hello, cattle. Yep, he's here. <laughs> I, I could hear him. Purring. Don't eat, don't eat the nice birdies, cattle. Uh, Daddy says hype train. Hype that, train. That, that is the hype train that just rolled past my house? Nice. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. Did you like my sunglasses? Here, catch what them! <laughs> what accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. Alternatively, I can just hear you saying, I only have seven minutes to play. Seven minutes. Well, That's then all. I need a British accent. Uh, you're, to do that. you're kind of doing like the, the kind of posh thing, though. <laughs> I can just see it. Seven minutes. That's all I can spare. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. There's a far off look in her eyes. That bird's seen some shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you know what you're talking about, but at this rate, I might get home faster by walking. 
Do you think we'll get there by dawn? No. Carve it into your soul. Okay. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. I don't know how much that is, Hega. Is, is carve it into your soul, like, got it memorized? Yeah, I guess so. You know, carving your soul, you won't forget it. Mm-hmm. Hang on, I want to see how much 30 kilometers is. 18.641 miles. So basically 18 miles per hour? Yay. <laughs> We're not even going that fast. Oof. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding tandem against the law too? That rules for humans. Birds are light, so one or two more doesn't stop the brakes from working. You calling me fat? <laughs> We're fine like this. Oof. A camel. Yeah. And I'm not a bird. But she is. And so... And so we putted along at Azumi's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. Wah wah. And I believe now we've seen every bird we can hypothetically go along with. It's still a long time until the semester starts. And I still have a lot of homework. Do your work, nerd. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job, since I have the chance? Oh... Is there a point in getting a job? Uh, it takes you along with, uh... It, it gives you more opportunity to talk to what's-her-face with the scooter. Hmm... So if we don't want to do that, we probably should just forget it. Eh, and just forget it. Come back another time and... Yeah. Carve a job into our soul. Carve it into your soul. Hmm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures to go to work. Oh, no! That's, that's you bad. shouldn't do that! <laughs> Slacking off and having fun is more the high schooler thing to do. Please, I'm college age and I slack off all the time. Yeah. Whee! Okay? <laughs> I don't know what's going on what? anymore. Today's the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite? Invite? Who, who can we invite? Ryota, Sakuya, uh, a library nerd, Okosan, or teacher man? Uh? Oh, these two have been the ones we spent the most time with, so... Logically, probably one of those two. Um... I think it's, we spent the most time with him, but... Uh, either way, I think it'd probably work out okay. Uh, I don't know, um... I, I guess Sakuya, since... Alright. We seem to be going that way on this run. You got a real attitude problem, McFly. You're a slacker. You're a slacker. I can thank God I can read the chat on the other window. Two monitors is a blessing. Sakuya, over here. Yeah, I would like to get my two monitors set up working before I stream. Mm hmm Makes life so much easier. You've got nerve to call me out during vacation. What is it? Oh, right. You just moved here, so you wouldn't have known. Today's the festival. Let's go together. Festival? What's that? You'll understand when you see it. Come on. Jet ready is. What? Shops, food, good fun all around. Food. People can't possibly be eating food prepared like this. It's, it's unsanitary. It's madness. <laughs> Don't worry. There haven't been any reports of food poisoning for two years. Need to do something. I'm sorry, I'm reading Danny. Uh, I need to do something about my two huge speakers before I get a dual monitor set up. Get why don't you hang a monitor by the wall? That's what I want to do. Have a third one on my wall. So there were reports three years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
I just imagine that super, like, excitedly. Yup! <laughs> <laughs> yup! It should have worked! Guiding the panic... <laughs> Guiding the panic-stricken Sakuya around the festival is a little troublesome, but hilarious nonetheless. And so the night wears on. Huh? When did you buy that candle candy apple, Sakuya? They had an interesting color, so I thought I would buy one. I'm not going to eat it. I shall take it home and mount in a case. Uh-huh. Congratulations. <laughs> I believe you. I, okay, I believe you. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> ah! I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke oh I, Yeah. That's so weird. That's kind of up. Yeah. <laughs> I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. School starts today, right? I'm gonna be late. Summer just flew by. Tell me that you guys are going to stream Dream Daddy. Hey, I'll stream D Dream Daddy for us if I can get my hands on it. Sure. <laughs> Dream Daddy. Yeah, it, it's it's oh, it's like a literal dad dating sim. You play as a dad, you date other dads, I'm down, I'll do it. Oh. <laughs> I'm totally down. I have no shame, I'll do it. Alright. Sir, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I overslept. Overslept? Uh, my homework. I forgot to bring my homework. Aren't you getting a little bit ahead of yourself, Tostitos? <laughs> <laughs> What's the number in the top left-hand corner, say? That is too meta! What, what does it say, though? I need to know. Oh... You're just a little bit early. Uh. Oh, since you're here, could you lend me a hand for a bit, Tostitos? You sure you don't want a chip? <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. Oh. Sure, I can chip in. Lend you a hand? <laughs> chip in! <laughs> If you don't have something else. Mm. <coughs> of course, you have a test in September, so if you want to go and study in the library. Do you I want to. Teacher man uh, or library, you away? Or just go home? <laughs> My glorious abode, um. Oh, yes. Let's help the teacher, why not? Lonely teacher man. Bird. <laughs> oh, you will? <laughs> I'll go make us some tea. On second thought, maybe this isn't a good idea. <laughs> and so I spent the morning grading tests in the air. What? what? The air conditioned? Oh, air conditioned. <laughs> and so I spent the morning grading tests in the air conditioned staff room, like a proper little lady. This tea is really, is very good. Oops, sorry. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. I have a friend, right? She used to eat or eat and drink mango flavored things. One day she walks up to me and says, I just realized I think I'm allergic to mangoes. Every time I eat one, my mouth gets all tingly and I'm like, alright, wow. way to go. You could be dead. Mm -hmm. Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. No. Oh, that's me. <clears throat> Okosan is always having fun. Yep, yep. Every character gets a line. What is this fun? 
Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay close to this. <laughs> Focus, sir! Focus! Nice. Second term! The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon by the pigeon and for the pigeon! I like that pigeon. Also, also God, when he was like, said, when Sake was asking what fun is, I just started thinking like, F is for fire that burns down the whole town, U is for uranium! Bomb! Bomb. N is for no survivors! <laughs> and the That's a peacock. That's not a pigeon, this is bullshit, I'm being lied to! Huh? Is that... Is, who is it? A student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Not a name I recognize. Should I go find their classroom? They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? 